Happy Easter everybody. I hope you all have exciting Easter plans this weekend or if you don't I hope you're at least having an Easter egg or maybe 10. <laughs> um, it's a time to indulge is it not? Um, definitely Easter, Christmas, birthdays, like this is a time where you eat chocolate and a load of rubbish and you get to indulge and feel fine about it. Um, if you're a little bit bored of having Easter eggs however but want another treat then why not make this cocktail. There's still time to go out to the shops and buy this amazing liqueur. Today I'm making the hot cross bun martini, an invention of my own, and it all came about because of this liqueur here that I got from Marks and Spencer's a few weeks ago, um, hot cross bun syrup. It is unreal. It is like, it does taste like Bailey's but like spicier. It just really does taste like hot cross bun. It's so good. So that's what this whole cocktail is based around today. As I said, it's a hot cross bun blah, martini um, and in it is the liqueur, obviously, some Cointreau, some cream and then some vodka, which I have soaked with some raisins. I think the reasoning behind that was a hot cross bun has raisins in it, so I thought I'd make the vodka a little bit sweeter and add another little taste in there. So yeah, we're going to see what it's like. I haven't made this one yet, um, but we're going to make it together. And like I said, there's still time to go out in the shops and buy this and make it yourself because as you can see, there's not really much else going on. You know, loads of people have got Quantra in the house, loads of people have got vodka. You don't need to do this with the raisins, you could just have plain vodka. Um, so yeah, I think it's really, it's a fun one to do um, this Easter. So yeah, let's get going with a hot cross bun martini. And in my shaker, I'm gonna start with the vodka. I'm gonna do 35 mils of this. In here, I try not to get any raisins, but to be fair, I'll be straining it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Mm. It just smells like raisins really. I love it when you steep things with vodka because you don't really, vodka's got no smell anyway. So no matter what you do with it, it always like smells like that. It's so good, it's yummy, I love it. Okay, next is the liqueur. So excited for this. This is almost gone. I have got another two bottles as well. It's so good just to sort of sip on its own. Okay, so we're gonna do 30 mils of that in here. Honestly, it's so good, I can't. I can't tell you how good it is. Then we're going to do 20 mils of the Contro. If you don't have Contro, you could use any other sort of orange liqueur, triple sec or curacao or something like that would be fine. That goes in there. And then we're going to do 30 mils of some single cream. Now, I don't usually do this, but I'm just going to give it a little bit of a taste first because I've never made this before. So I thought these quantities would go, um, if you don't, if I need to add something or, you know, I was going to say take something away, but you can't really do that now. Um, yeah, I just want to give it a taste and see. It's so good. That is still a prominent flavour, actually, which is unusual. I thought the other things would... I thought maybe this would be a bit stronger, so I'm gonna put, put a bit more of control in. And potentially a tiny bit more of the vodka as well. It is Easter after all. Just like a little bit, I think. And then maybe just a splash more of the cream. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> definitely me done now. Goodness knows what the quantities for that is, but we'll go with that. I'm going to pop the ice in my shaker. And then give that a good shake. chilled. So for my glass, I'm going to give it a strain. Nice and creamy, lovely. Looking good. There we go. Now for my garnish, I am again doing something a bit different today. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to do it after the video, 
but then I'm going to put a picture up of it now what it looks like because I'm going to try and do a hot cross bun design on the top and A, that might take me a little while and B, I want to drink the cocktail and that will ruin it. So I will insert the picture just like magic here. There we go. I have no idea if that looks good or not, but <laughs> that is what it turned out like after this video when I done it. <laughs> looks just like a hot cross bun, right? Um, yeah, and I also want to taste this cocktail as well, so it would have been a shame to waste it for that. So I'm gonna have a drink. That was definitely a good idea. I can taste the contour a bit more now. That was a good idea. This is slightly less prominent because on its own, it's just like you're you're drinking that, to be fair, which isn't a bad thing. I have been doing it. Um, but no, that actually works so much better. Adding a little bit more of that and just a little bit more of the vodka as well. Make it a bit more boozy. Um, yeah, that is really good. I love that. I hope you all do as well for this Easter-inspired cocktail. Um, thank you so much for joining me again at the Borough Home Bar. <laughs> it's like a broken record on these videos. Um, yeah, thank you so much um, for coming on every week and watch me make a cocktail and then drink it and talk about how awesome it is. <laughs> I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you next week on the Burr Bar. Cheers! <laughs>